family, what's going on? Klaus here, and welcome back to our Town Hall 13 Farm to Max. Here on the Klaus Gaming YouTube channel, your source of Clash of Clans content, tips, tricks, and of course, entertainment. And by the way, if you like other games, then please do be sure to check out my second YouTube channel, Klaus Media. The link is in the description. So guys, we've got five builders busy. What in the world am I up to today? Well, I'm pretty sure if you guys have eagle eyes, and a lot of you do, then you already know that we've got ourselves a laboratory sitting doing nothing. And that is unacceptable. It's like the number one thing. That's the cardinal rule. Keep your laboratory busy. So, uh, that's what we're going to be up to today. We're going to be getting an upgrade going. There's only four options. We either have the wall breakers, we have the yeti, we have the skeleton spell, or we have the siege barracks. Not all... Not not the all-star of Clash of Clans, but, you know, it needs to be done. So, let's go out and get a couple of raids. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just... Excuse me. Get, get back over there. I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to boost. We're going to get a few attacks in today. I'm thinking three, uh, but we'll just have to see, okay? So, I've already got the boost going. Let's go out and let's smack a few Legend League bases. And I'm thinking... Uh, ooh, actually... Huh... Interesting base design. Um, I'm tempted to come in from the left-hand side just to get that town all down. But if you look at the sweepers, they're both pointing out and toward where the queen would be coming in from. So I'm thinking maybe we ought to come in from the backside. This is going to be kind of a YOLO attack, um, but I'm always down for a YOLO attack, right? If this doesn't go well, then we're in trouble. And ultimately, that's we're in trouble. So let's just see what happens here. I actually would like to uh, throw a wall wrecker in earlier. So I think the queen, yeah. All right, so let's get the Pekka in there. Let's get the king to follow behind. A few balloons in case there's some seeking air mines out there somewhere. Uh, wall wrecker, hurry up, buddy. <laughs> hurry up, buddy. There we go. Nice. All right, let's get the king in there. Another balloon. And I think the queen will follow behind the wall wrecker and probably be able to take out that sweet uh, that cc so let's go ahead and rage the queen drop a poison wow nothing but balloons in that cc that is very unusual but hey with this particular approach now we're actually seeing the eagle artillery go down early which is just amazing so there we go eagle is down and the queen will start to walk around the base and i'm assuming that uh, she's probably gonna run i don't even know oh queen has just lost her healers to the pekka Okay, well, Queen's gonna pop her ability, and then hopefully she takes out a few key defenses here. Maybe the enemy Queen, that'd be great. Or the enemy King, that's cool too. Level 70 ability, getting it done, but not not that great, not that well. Uh, Alright, so let's put our Hogs down in a very nice wide line. And remember guys, I have my, um, my uh, uh, what is it called, the Royal Champion upgrading right now, so... That's not the best, uh, but it is it is the op it is the um, the uh, reality, right? Uh, so let's pop the warden's ability now. Get that town hall down. There we go. And I'm actually gonna rage these hogs over here so we can take out the single targeting inferno. Very nice. I need some cleanup troops ASAP. So there we go. We'll put all of these out here. And uh, that's pretty much all that I have, guys. Um, unfortunately, my queen lost her healers. If she hadn't have lost her healers, then the queen would have probably made it all the way through to take out the enemy queen. And that would have been amazing. But unfortunately, that was not the case for us. Uh, but here, let's go ahead and get the minion in there too. Try to get some cleanup, try to get some loot. We did get all the Dark Elixir. So that's good, right? Uh, but <laughs> not quite. Not quite what we would have liked i'm i'm kind of a i'm kind of a upset a little bit about that but why would the okay let me let me ask you this question guys why in the world would the stupid healers leave the queen i mean don't they know the queen is royalty don't they know that if the healers leave the queen then they're gonna get fired from their job i mean it just makes sense stupid healers they go go protect the pekka like no one cares about the pekka everyone cares about the queen Makes no sense, guys. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. But at least we got a Winion over here taking some elixir. You got 10 seconds, little guy, little lady, whatever. It's impossible to tell because you're kind of an animal creature thing. But you you got this. You're going to do a great job. Actually, yeah, pretty good. 2,000 uh, elixir per hit. That was totally worth sitting there and waiting for. But anyway, so with the loot bonus, loot is amazing. That is ultimately why we're up here in Legend League. You guys know that. It was over 9,000 dark elixir pretty much every single raid, which I'm a big fan of and I greatly appreciate. Sweet. So uh, if you guys remember, I am boosted. So it's going to take a 
decent amount of time before my next army is ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get the next one cooking as well. And um, I won't uh, put you guys through the waiting process because we do have... Look at that. We have seven minutes. Wow, seven minutes. Even under boost, it's going to take seven minutes to get these heroes back, which is just awful. So guys, I'll be right back once I have an army and we'll go out and do it again. And the queen is done. I believe the entire army is ready to go, except once again for that upgrading royal champion. So it's time to dominate a base. Let's go. Um, all right. So this is naughty. This is very naughty. Look at this. This inferno tower. You can't tell if it's single or infer uh, or a multi because of the name of the clan, which is interesting. But you can kind of tell that that's actually a multi-targeting inferno, which is a huge win for us. Because that just makes it a little bit easier. So let's go queen on the far side. Basically what I'm trying to do with this deployment. Normally I start kind of on a corner. Um, but I'm going to start on this far side. Because I don't want to uh, deal with the sunken air defenses. Okay, that's what I call them. Sunken air defenses. When you can't target the air defense from the outside. I call them a sunken air defense. So let's go. Um, I'm thinking wall wrecker already. I'm also thinking uh, P.E.K.K.A. and Wizard, maybe a couple of balloons out here, just in case there's some Sams to, uh, you know, destroy, because, or, or <laughs> to soak up. I guess you're destroying them, technically, you're, you're forcing them to arm themselves. But uh, there we go. So now the Queen has been broken in. We've taken out the enemy CC, the enemy Queen, and the enemy King. Now the big question is going to be which way will she go? It looks like that P.E.K.K.A. Ooh, that P.E.K.K.A. will take care of that Royal Champion, maybe. Wow, the uh, Royal Champ has actually got more health than I thought she did. Uh, there we go. Pekka did good. Very nice. All right, so um, I'm thinking we need some cleanup maybe on the outside to get a couple of these. Maybe a few uh, balloons just to make sure there's no Seeking Air Mine's going to dominate the Queen. And very, very good. Now let's distract a few defenses with this King over here. And then I'm also thinking maybe Baby Dragon. And I've got one more Rage Spell, so let's just wait just a moment. Because here's the thing. Because this is such a big ring base... And we didn't quite clear up all of the def Actually, I've got a few. Oh, dang it. No, the Archer Tower is going to shoot down my minions. Oh, no, nope, never mind. Okay, cool. So I was actually able to use um, a couple of minions to take out that double cannon so that we actually are able to get our hogs into the core. So let's go ahead and hurry up, pop that King's ability, and we're going to target that Inferno Tower with our hogs. Let's go. Rage Spell and Freeze. Very, very nice. All right, and uh, did we hit a tornado trap? We did. Oh, we did. We did. Uh, Warden's ability. Quick, quick. <laughs> Take out. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Now, the group of hogs that went up to the top are going to be left behind here just because, unfortunately, that's just the reality of things. Not enough of them survived up there. So, uh, so yeah, but we're doing really, really well right now, guys. I think that we're in for a treat. The queen still has her ability. And I still have one more heal spell. So let's actually heal real early because the scatter shot is brutal against our hogs. All right, just absolutely brutal. So is there any spot that I can place this archer? I guess just out here on the corner. Queen pops her ability, but look at this. She's going to get through the scatter. Oh, oh, come on. Get the scatter shot. Get the scatter shot, queen. Go, go, go. Hurry, hurry. Before the hogs die. Yes. And then look at that. Queen is targeting the Inferno Tower. Should get it down before she gets roasted. It's going to be a three-star, guys. Yeah, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Some quick thinking. Getting the minions on the double cannon to create the defense funnel to get the hogs into the core. That was awesome. Awesome, guys. Super, super stoked about how that attack actually went down. Love it, guys. Absolutely love it. And that was 40 trophies. 40. Yes, got to flip and love it. All right, so let's actually, um, I'm going to hold on to doing a third army. We're going to request, and I'm going to wait. Let me see. The, it looks like the warden is actually going to take the longest to wake up. So I'm going to wait again for my heroes to wake up, and we're going to go out and we're going to do at least one more raid. All right, get some... Get some loot up in here, and then get that laboratory upgrade going. And by the way, while we wait, of course, for you guys, it won't be, it won't be a wait. It'll literally just be a cut in the video. But uh, while we wait, let me know in the comments which upgrade do you think I'm gonna do in the lab? Am I going to do the wall breaker, which would max it? The Yeti, which would take it to level three, and note level. Uh, I'm sorry, would take it to level two, and note level three is maxed. Uh, am I going to do the skeleton spell to max, or am I going to upgrade the barracks to level two? And note, level four is max. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'll be right back once my heroes are ready to go. 
And the warden is awake, and let's do another dominant attack. And by the way, oh, just a reminder, last time we got that warden to level 48. Can you imagine what's going to be happening next episode? I'm going to give you one guess. Oh yeah, we're going to totally max out the warden. It's going to be amazing, but for now, I need to focus on the space. Uh, okay. So, uh, wow, actually, this is an anti-three-star base design. I'm so used to seeing anti-two-star that um, I'm a little bit thrown off. Okay, um, there's a CC and an enemy queen on this side. It'd be kind of cool if I could get my my queen in there. There's a sweeper pointing in this direction. There's a single targeting inferno over there. All right, here's what we're going to do. Queen on the corner, because honestly, I just really want to get the dark elixir. Um, also, I'm going to, let's just try to funnel out this wizard tower over here. Queen, do not go for the wizard tower. No, no, queen, turn around, turn around, queen. Turn around, you stupid queen. Stupid. All right, uh, wall wrecker, I need your help. I really do. I've, I'm, I'm in a pickle, a big, big, fat, nasty pickle. Let's go. Come on, come on, <laughs> queen. No. Okay, okay. We, we got the rage spell. We got the rage spell. But now the queen is not following, dude. Queen, what are you doing? Oh, this is so dumb. Okay, well, let's pop the Warden's ability, and let's get a freeze or a poison spell over the CC. I get- Oh, and now she wants to break into the wall, you dingus. Alright, well, at least the King got in there and, um, and saved a few things. The poison spell handled the witches, no problem. And now the Queen? Okay, now the Queen's kind of back into the, 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 into the battle a little bit. This is okay, I guess. Um, looks like that Ice Golem will go down. Pop that King's ability nice and early, maybe? We'll be able to actually get him in against this uh, enemy queen. Let's get the rage spell. Oh, and the healers switch over and abandon my queen. I am sick of losing my healers. It's the worst, okay? But at least the enemy queen's gone. Okay, enemy queen's gone. Let's go. Let's get let's get some action. Let's get some action. Let's go. Uh hog riders. Hog riders, get in there, buddies. Jeez, this has been this has been a topsy-turvy attack so far, guys. <laughs> Topsy flipping turvy. Alright, um, Warden, I need you to. Get this um, uh, warden's ability perfectly, okay? Let's get in there. Come on! Oh, get get the get the town hall, you idiots! All right, there we go. Get that town hall. Yeah. All right. So I've got my last heal spell ready to go. Gonna wait for a little bit of splash damage. I'm thinking right there. Boom! Because of that wizard tower. Oh yes. All right. So let's get a wizard over here for some cleanup, and potentially over here for some cleanup. Baby dragon's handling that, no problem. Oh boy. Dude, that attack went so bad so fast. My goodness. Uh, but we still have a balloon that's up. Dude, this is amazing. I don't think I've ever had a balloon survive this long before. This is actually kind of incredible. Until- No! Balloon, I believed in you! Dang it, dude. Alright, well, um, we got some distracted Archer Tower over here. I'm gonna put down the Wizards. Maybe they'll be able to get through and take out the Archer Tower. No. Dang it. Yeah. Dang, we were so close. We actually were really close to a three star, even though things felt like they went terribly, terribly wrong at the beginning of the raid. Um, we still did pretty well. 84% two star. That queen deciding to break into the wall right next to where the enemy queen was, like right where the CC and everything was at the top, was actually super lucky. I'm, I'm very, I'm pleased. Uh, but I'm also, con I'm still confused, to be completely honest with you. Why didn't the queen follow the wall wrecker? Bad funnel, I get it, but, but come on. Come on, queen. You dingus. Anyway. Good loot, though, overall. Not bad. Um, we're actually sitting at now 60,000 Dark Elixir while basically going to zero yesterday. So that was awesome. But uh, now, guys, it is about, first requesting for CC, but it is about the laboratory. Okay, I don't even need to go into the progress base. It's literally only about the laboratory. So the three or the four options right now again are the wall wrecker. I'm sorry, wall breaker, yeti, skeleton spell, and siege barracks. Now we can automatically e remove one of those options, and that is the skeleton spell because I don't have enough dark elixir. So the next thing is, are we going to go wall breaker, which would be max yeti, which would need one more level, or the siege barracks, which would need still two more levels. Well, I'm not going to upgrade the wall breaker. You or wall breaker. Jeez, wall breaker. Get it through your head, Klaus. Wall breaker. I'm not going to upgrade the wall breaker cuz this army does not use a single wall breaker. There's none in the in the army and it's fantastic army. It works really, really well. So there's no point in me upgrading the wall breaker. Yes, I got it right that time. So the two options are either the Yeti, which I've heard is very, very powerful, but I haven't used it yet, or the Siege Barracks.
Can you guess which one I'm going to do? You guys probably already put your, your guesses down in the comments. Today, we're going to be upgrading the Siege Barracks. Yes. And a lot of you probably said Yeti. The reason why I don't want to upgrade the Yeti is because I can already donate Max Yetis. As a Town Hall, or as a Clan Level 8 or higher, you get a plus 2 to your levels. Is it Level 8? Anyway, my... It might be level 10 clan. I don't know. Don't really care about the details. The point is, my clan gets a plus two level bonus to donated troops and donated siege machines and donated spells. So whenever I donate a siege barracks, it's not maxed out. And that's not good. That's That actually makes me a bad clan mate. I don't like that. My yetis, however, if I donate them, are maxed because max is level three. And I've got level one. So it actually works out very, very nicely that um, I'm able to max out the siege barracks with this next upgrade. And then don't don't worry, believe me, since I don't use the barracks much, but my clan mates do request them, I'm going to be upgrading it to level 2, and then I'll probably at that point start maxing the Yeti, because it is also my my intention to really start maxing out these barracks, because I've only got one barracks upgraded right now that unlocks the Yeti. So I'm working towards it, but other things have just been higher priority, including especially my heroes, which, hey, I mean... King's maxed, Queen's maxed, Warden's only two levels away, and then we just have the Royal Champion to go. So, let's go ahead and upgrade this Siege Barracks, guys. It's not that expensive. 6.8 million Elixir, 8.5 day upgrade. Let's do it in 3, 2, 1. Bam. My Book of Fighting makes me curious about something. Um, you know, I may actually... Hold on, how much is the Yeti upgrade? It's 9.35 million Elixir, and I've got a lot in my treasury, but I don't want to use the Book of Fighting on a lame short time upgrade. I'd much rather use it on something a lot more powerful like maybe the Yeti level 3 upgrade. So I'm going to let this finish naturally so that I can use my book more efficiently later on. So uh, guys, that is going to do it for me today in this episode of our Farm 2 Max Town Hall 13. I bet you guys didn't expect that, did you? Like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button also if you haven't already for daily gaming videos and to join the Klaus family. Also, do not forget to ring that bell and check out my second YouTube channel, Klaus Media. Once again, the link is in the description. And last but certainly not least, be sure and make sure that you're supporting a content creator under the Creator Boost. If you don't know how to find that, then go to your gears at the bottom right-hand side of your screen, hit more settings, and go to the very bottom. If uh, you have somebody you're supporting, then cool, it still works. It disappears every seven days, so be sure and double check this before uh, you make any in-game purchases. And if you want to support me, I would duly appreciate it. Um, my code is, of course, Klaus. Guys, that's all for me. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.